2018 and if you don't know it already streaming applications are a big deal right now lots of new tools have come out for streamers and i think it's time if you haven't done so already to start live streaming i think streaming is in a sweet spot right now especially when it comes to the software and the fact that it's just really cheap to get into streaming and have a nice pro quality looking stream so i want to share with you three applications that are a must-have for you that cost you absolutely nothing and really can get you out there and streaming like pros. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first tool that you're going to need, you're going to download some software. You need to download some broadcasting software to get your gameplay, your video to a streaming service such as Twitch, Mix, or YouTube, which are the three main for gaming. But there are paid versions and there are free versions. Uh, more popular paid versions are XSplit and vMix. Those are uh, easy to use, but they can be rather expensive, especially if you're just starting out streaming. It's kind of hard to choose spending $60 for a piece of software or a subscription that can cost you a lot of money in the case for XSplit. For just starting out live streaming, but there is some free software out that I'm telling you right now, in my opinion, is as good as XSplit or vMix, if not better. And the fact that it's free is just the icing on the cake. And what I want to do is I want to share with you two versions of this software because it, this is important. Now, now over 80% of live streamers use this software, so that goes to show you just how good it is. Okay, so I want to share with you what people know as OBS. Now, the first version of OBS is OBS Studio. Now, this is when you say when you say OBS, this is generally what everybody associates with OBS, and that is OBS Studio. This is built by OBSproject.com, the original people who's designed this application. Uh, they've been building on OBS Studio now for years. The latest version, 20.1.3, is out there now and there is a lot of tools for streaming and recording gameplay uh, some of the main features that i like about obs studio number one studio mode where you're able to edit your scenes while you're streaming live without showing the editing going on on your live stream so you have a live scene and you have an edit scene so you can go and do that without you know, change it. Now, this is important because it's great for things like podcasts because you can go and you can bring in lower thirds and all of that kind of thing and set that up and then transition into your live scene and use, th use it for things like segues into different topics, that sort of thing. Studio mode is awesome. Another great thing about OBS Studio, multi-channel audio. Okay, you can record up to six tracks simultaneously. If you're doing a... Uh, live recording you could take that track and then drag it into a video editor like premiere and sony vegas and those six channels of audio are there separated in their own track so that you can then edit each of them individually which is fantastic okay another th great thing that i like about obs studio is the fact that you can have profiles set profiles if you say you stream to multiple channels you can set a profile for each individual, and that way you don't have to keep going in and changing stream keys anytime you want to stream to a different channel. Another thing about OBS Studio I really like is third-party plug-in support. So you can go out there as a, as a user, and if you know how to code, you can come up with a plug-in to do simple things that would make your stream easier. One of the greatest ones that I think is out there right now, and one that I anticipate will be embedded into OBS here in the future, is NDI. NDI is a third-party plugin that allows you to stream video from one PC to another over your internal network. So it kind of gets rid of the fact that you need a capture card. So uh, OBS Studio has that if you install. So third-party plugin support is great. Scene collections, hotkey support, uh, just tons of different source options that you can use to just really make your live stream professional. But the problem with OBS Studio is it's difficult for the streamer that's starting out. Uh, it's more built for the enthusiast that's learned a lot about how OBS works 
can go out there and build custom scenes, use custom graphics, and do all that sort of thing. Uh, for the beginner, it can be a little overwhelming, uh, especially if you just if you just want to go out there and just get some get going right away. The great thing about that, because OBS is open source, is other developers can take this and with as long as they stay within the bounds of the license, they can design their own version of OBS, and that is exactly what has happened within the last week or two. Uh, they uh, there is a version of OBS out there that Streamlabs has designed called Slobs or Streamlabs OBS. If you go and go to streamlabs.com forward slash streamlabs dash OBS, you can download the beta version right now. It is open beta for everyone. And it's supported for Windows 7 up to Windows 10. Not for Mac and not for Linux yet. Okay, but. If you're a Windows user and you uh, want to try slobs, go out there and download it. You will find that the UI is a lot more intuitive and there is a, some functionality within Streamlabs OBS or slobs that just makes sense. For instance, when you log into your Twitch account, which slobs is linked to, it automatically brings up your Twitch chat within the UI. You can do uh, channel settings. Uh, so if you want to change games, you can do that all within Streamlabs OBS. That is something you cannot do in OBS Studio. It also has the Streamlabs dashboard built into it, which we will talk about that here in a second. But it is fantastic. I'm telling you right now, if you are the beginner and you want to get a nice live stream going using a nice piece of software you need to try out slobs get used to it and then maybe once you get used to obs for this version of slobs you might want to go and try obs studio later because uh, once you learn it here then you i think you'll have enough knowledge that you can then hop into obs studio and begin playing around with some of the other tools that are available there Now you need something for audio. Now, a lot of streamers out there go and buy a hardware mixer, uh, something like a Yamaha, a Studio Master, a Behringer. I mean, those are just a few options out there. Uh, you know, and they spend anywhere from I would say forty-five up to probably two, three hundred dollars for a mixer, including cables and all the stuff that you have to pick up for uh, your live stream. And that can get rather expensive. Uh, you know, you're talking, you know, probably up to $300 by the time you're done with the cables that you would need to patch everything to your to your mixer, including microphone, your headphones, all your computers or console, whatever you're playing your games off of. So why in the world, I mean, would a, a person starting out, I mean, that, that's just a lot of money to pour into a live stream but you don't even know if you're going to be successful or not well let me tell you right now there is a piece of software out there that is almost free i'm not going to say it's free it can be free it's kind of up to your uh your own uh judgment your own uh character whatever you want to say uh but i want to share with you a piece of software called voice meter banana now i am a believer in voice meter banana I think uh, the guys at vb-audio.com who have designed Voice Meter Banana, they have done a great job at giving us a virtual audio mixer. And it does everything. Trust me, it does everything that you want it to do plus more, uh, including over-the-network uh, streaming of your audio. So it gets rid of having to use all these analog cables. Uh, it gives you three hardware inputs. It gives you two software inputs. It gives you reverb. It gives you equalization. You have modulation. You can do position, audio positioning, EQing on your uh, pre-fade and your post-fade on your outputs. Uh, plus, as I said, it gives you eight channels of virtual, what they call V-band, which is uh, over the network audio feeds. Plus, you can record everything to uh, MP3 tracks, and you can 
input you know up to five channels plus it has asio support or aco support so i'm telling you right now voice meter banana and let me show you the website and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like uh, now granted it is a little overwhelming when you first look at it but trust me voice meter banana really is easy to use and along with that another piece of software that they designed that you that i would think supplements banana that you need to try is virtual audio cable and this is important because this allows you to patch audio using what we call virtual cables or digital and it's digital audio that you allows you to patch audio from different sources like spotify um chrome firefox uh windows media player that sort of thing into voice meter banana so i you really need to look at both vac and banana and try these out now as i said they are not necessarily free you can download this and not pay a dime but they request that you donate some money so as little as a dollar or a euro you can go and download this and you get a license for the software so you know it really is awesome and it also you can also stream to your uh mobile device using vband if you download the app on your mobile phone so it's really vband i'm telling you voice meter banana in my opinion the two software i have already talked about obs and voice meter banana are the two best free pieces of software out there i have not seen one yet that i feel is as good as these two because i'm telling you these work they work fantastic they do everything you need it to do and i have my dual pc live stream set up using nothing but voice meter banana and obs and it does everything i need it to do i haven't spent any money on any mixing uh, any crazy cables uh any DAX or any of that stuff i simply use voice meter banana and it does a fantastic job you're hearing it right now on the record this is what i'm using to patch my microphones and everything into obs currently so go out there and give this a shot and try it the great thing about both obs and uh banana is the fact that i have a ton of tutorials on both pieces of software so if you have questions more than likely if you go to my youtube channel look at my playlist find the tutorial playlist for these pieces of software you will find the answer in there The last thing I want to talk about is a website. Now, we've already talked about them a little bit earlier, but Streamlabs is important for the live streamer because it gives you a lot of tools that you can use to enhance what you already have for your live stream. Now, we talked about Streamlabs OBS, but the original, what everybody associates with Streamlabs is their website that you can go to, log into your Twitch account, and then it allows you to control certain things like donations, uh, widgets that are you can use on your web on your on your live stream that show certain events like your followers, your donators, your hosts, that sort of things. It gives you these alerts and shows up as graphics on your live stream. And that's a, what really a lot of people associate with Streamlabs. And this is the Streamlabs dashboard that I'm showing you right now. The great thing now is this is incorporated into Streamlabs OBS. This very thing we're looking at right now. So instead of having to go to their website, if you use slobs, you now have this available inside the software itself. So as long as you log into your Twitch account, your dashboard will show up and you have all of this functionality that we see now right here inside of slobs. So I'm not going to really tell you to necessarily go to the website unless you're using OBS Studio, then you would need to go here and then set up your widgets, most of which use browser source in obs studio and it's just simply copying and pasting the link that you can get right here in the in the uh dashboard here for your different uh widgets and then put uh make a browser source source inside obs studio and then it will show up there but if you have slobs it's integrated and it's a lot easier to use and a lot easier to integrate into your live stream 
I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this other than show you what it is because I have a video for it already that I did a while back that covers a lot of the things that are available here. Now, within that, there is one thing in here that I recommend you download that is not a part of Slobs and is also an application that Streamlabs developed, and that is Chatbot. And this is something that you're going to need to do because Chatbot in itself shows it controls uh, how your stream is moderated, how your chat's moderated, it controls games, song requests. There's tons of things that this chat bot does. It, and it, like I said, it's an application that you can download to your computer and run separately outside of the normal Streamlabs website. And there is tutorials on that also on my YouTube page. So the point I'm getting is everything that I have that I'm showing you, I have already done some tutorials on to get you started with each of these. Now, I'm not saying that because I've done tutorials, I'm a little biased on these. I'm really not because I think that these are probably the best ways to go for the live streamer right now. It really is. Streamlabs kind of has really stepped up their game a lot here, I would say, within the last year. Uh, and you're seeing them kind of step up to become that leader when it comes to providing tools for the live streamer. Uh, with the chat bot here recently, which used to be Ankbot, and they've, they've, they've partnered with, with the developers for Ankbot, and have taken that over, and that's now what we have for Chatbot. And now with their own version of OBS, in addition to the tools that they already provided, in addition to the charity uh, support that they get, uh, it, it just really is, in my opinion, probably the best tool out there. So go out there, download OBS, whatever version you want to use, OBS Studio or Slobs, try Voice Meter Banana and the virtual audio cables, and then go out there and look at Streamlabs and use that to set up, you know, your different widgets or to use it integrated with Slobs. It's really easy to use, and it gives you everything that you want that you see on these professional live streams, these big big streamers right now. This is what they're using, guys. This is it. Uh, it really is, and they have it set up, and it's easy to use. Now, the great thing I like about uh, the Streamlabs inside of Slobs right now, and it's here too, but the fact that I am, I'm a graphic, I'm a net when it comes to designing graphics. I'm just not that good at it. But they have these overlays, and there's a ton of different themed overlays that you can use that are free under Streamlabs, and it gives you full integration of the different widgets. It gives you different scenes. You really check those overlays out because they're really nice, and uh, they're flashy. Some are media. They're animated. Uh, different colors, different variations, different designs uh, for the games that you play. Uh, for the colors that you like. It's just really, it's cool. It really is good what they've done. So go check them out. Guys, I hope these helped you out because I think that once you get these tools downloaded, they really will help you to set up your live stream and it will take your live stream to the next level. So go check them out and make sure you subscribe and like. Go to my playlist. Look up the tutorials for these different pieces of software that I've talked about because it they will to help to get you to learn these softwares and to get you out there and live streaming and you know and that's what i want that's the whole reason i'm doing what i'm doing i want you to get out there and uh i want your live stream to look as good as the pros and do it for cheap that's the whole point of being the frugal streamer all right guys i hope you enjoyed everything be good have a great week and we'll see you out there